Hello everyone. Today is Thursday, June 14th. It's 3.44 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can see my computer clock on my right here and on my left is the time in sales that E-mini S&P currently trading at 2789.50. It was an excellent day for the auto trader today. First up is the DAX on the Superenco 14 tick. This was uh, quite active today and quite volatile. We uh, came up to about 1800 equity high uh, early in the session and drew down about 1400 after that or about 600 per contract so this was kind of uh, up and down and all over the place and then came on strong in the US session uh, towards the end here and actually hit its goal at 2450 so uh, once again uh, testimony to how volatile the DAX is but you can see here that it hit its goal of, not that it hit its goal, but it made an equity high here of close to $2,000 earlier on, you know, before all these other trades were taken. So once again, my profit targets on these are arbitrary. Probably for most traders, your, your target should be much lower than this, especially uh, in the DAX if you were trading a single contract, for example. Now, interestingly, the DAX on the Superenco 6 tick, which is a faster time frame, actually hit its goal of 2,000 with no drawdown. And it looks like we had maybe a, a tick of positive slippage. The goal here is 2040. Really nice looking trades here. So it goes to show that different time frames can work and different levels of profit target could be had. You know, here's a chart that had literally only one loser and four winners and quickly came up and hit its goal. Okay, the E-mini S&P on a 987 tick line break did 1262 for the day, and this has a goal of 1300, so we probably hit our goal and had a tick slippage. Now we took a little heat in the beginning here, uh, drew down about $200 per contract, and then came back with these four winners and one loser, and that brought us up to our goal. Okay, the DAX on the Superenco 14 tick with a lower goal. This one has $2,000 goal and uh, had less trades than the other chart with the DAX with the higher goal. And, and so these are the trades here. So quite a bit different. This one has a four tick pullback on the limit order. The other chart has a one tick pullback. Extra four ticks pullback probably helped it to hit its goal earlier and avoid drawdown. So having a pullback on your entry in a limit order can be uh, quite substantial. Okay, next is the DAX on a 34 tick line break, and this has had pretty stellar performance. Uh, we're trading the U.S. session on this, and it pretty much uh, hit its goal at $2,000 and uh, really didn't take too much heat. There was just this one losing trade at the beginning here unfortunately got stopped out but then made this long run here but obviously we got stopped out probably the stop is a little bit too tight another f unknown feature of the auto trader that's really not been mentioned is you could actually set the stop uh, below the low of the signal bar and you can offset it by so many ticks so uh, it was specifically made for line break charts so that uh, your your stop would actually be the low of the bar here and then of course you can offset it by ticks so solid performance on the DAX 34 tick line break chart okay the crude oil on a Superenco 8 tick with our line break logic has been really solid this did 1160 on two trades back to back here our goal on this is a thousand so we had extreme positive slippage of $160 on this chart Okay, next up is the E-mini S&P on a five Renko chart. And this had three winning trades in a row and hit its goal of 1,000. It had one tick of slippage. Okay, next up is the E-mini S&P on a Super Renko four tick. This has an open short position on three contracts with just a few ticks, a closed P&L of 450. Okay, the crude oil on a Super Renko seven tick had a single trade and hit its goal of looks like a thousand here well 1200 it might have had slippage okay next is the crude on a super Anko six tick this was pretty active today but it came up and hit its goal with this string of winners here 
and our goal on this is a thousand, so we had fifty dollars of positive slippage. Okay, the E mini S and P in a nine eighty seven tick line break chart did twelve sixty two fifty, and our goal on this is thirteen hundred, so we had two tick slippage. The Nasdaq had a single trade on the 987 tick Heike Nashi chart with a goal of only a thousand. So you can see there was a lot more to go. Notice the indicator signals here. Uh, really excellent trade placement and there was a lot more to go here. Excellent looking signals on the indicator. Okay, next up is the mid cap. We had two small losers here and we drew down only about 175 per contract or 200 per contract and then came back with two winners here and that brought us to our goal of 1,000. So here is our goal of 1,000. Okay, next is the E-mini S&P on a Superenco 4 tick and this has a higher time frame of uh, other time frame of Superenco 2 tick and this did uh, 787.50 so it uh, hit its goal of 750 with a uh, couple of ticks of positive slippage. Very nice looking trades here. Okay, the NASDAQ on a Superenco 10 tick uh, did 785, uh, moderately active, and looks like we drew down uh, about 400 per contract. Okay, next up is the E mini S&P on a 1597 Hike and Ashy tick chart. And very minor drawdown here, followed by three winners in a row. So we came just shy of our goal of a thousand dollars here. Okay, the Nasdaq on the 1597 extending its winning streak, uh, a modest gain of 570, shy of its goal, but still showing positive um, and being very consistent. So the gold on the 377 Heike and Ashy chart, pretty active today. Looks like it made an equity high of about $750 or so and then settled at 520 on two contracts. Okay, next, another uh, five Renko chart with different settings. This has a goal of 1,000, so shy of its goal, but 525 still very respectable in the ES, ES on two contracts. Okay, next is the E-mini S&P on a one-minute line break chart. And it's had a mixed bag of trades here, closing at uh, $500. That's all for today's video. Thanks for watching.